Newsflash, white women and girls are not being abducted out of parking lots across America. A leaf on your windshield, a water bottle leaned against your car, these are not signs of an impending abduction. Your child is not gonna get snatched out of your car while you return your cart to the corral. Your white toddler is not going to be trafficked out of an Applebee's restaurant. There is not a trafficking ring waiting to snatch up white suburban women running errands. Yes, these are all right conspiracy theories. It's a form of moral panic. A moral panic is a mass hysteria. It's a belief in the culture that is grossly exaggerated and misrepresents some kind of behavior that we view as immoral, socially deviant, or dangerous. It's a paranoid or unfounded perception that a certain group of people are at risk when they're really not. It's usually fueled by the media and lots of white women posting, scary, this almost happened to me in a grocery store parking lot TikToks. It's not real. There is not a massive trafficking ring out to abduct white girls and white women from suburban America. These kinds of moral panic are really fomented not only by religion, but by white supremacy. They allow white women to feel like damsels in distress, to center ourselves or by proxy center ourselves through our children. We get to play damsel in distress. We get to feel real special and center ourselves and our feelings. We love to feel vulnerable, and not only that, we love to feel that we have special inside information. This is how people fall for conspiracy theories all the time. Let me tell you how that leaf on your windshield puts you, a white woman, at risk for being trafficked by a complete stranger. It's secret special information they don't want you to know. But this really is a problem because it obscures the fact that there are folks who are trafficked in America, vulnerable folks who are preyed upon. This paranoid delusional fear that you could be abducted at random by a stranger anywhere and trafficked distracts from the fact that trafficking happens in vulnerable groups. It's often youth, it's often street youth, it's often black and brown people. Folks who are socioeconomically vulnerable, who are often displaced from their homes, who have few connections. And they aren't trafficked by a stranger, they're trafficked by somebody that they know who grooms them. So yes, let's talk about the real ways that people are trafficked in the United States. Let's work to prevent those ways and protect vulnerable populations. Let's stop whipping ourselves up into a frothing panic over things that are not actually happening. Stop buying into this alt-right conspiracy theory nonsense. Stop playing damsel in distress. Stop listening to the alt-right media and hysterical women on this platform and educate yourself about the realities of trafficking.